In this video I will tell you everything that you'll need to know about our new center pivot on the X1221. The center pivot on the X1221 has been completely redesigned. As you can see it looks completely different and it has many benefits. Uh, the first benefit of this design is that it's tweak free, so it doesn't tweak when you have a crash. Uh, no matter the position of the side links, it doesn't bind up, so it's completely free in all directions. And the second benefit is that it's a lot lower, as you can see, it's in, in the line of um, the bottom of the chassis, so as low as it can go, basically. And this means that the roll center is a lot lower, actually more than 2 millimeters lower than the pivot on the old car. And this gives the car a lot more traction, which is really beneficial, especially for the low grip surfaces. And because of the, the use of solid axles, which has been the trend lately, it really makes the car work better with a solid axle in the rear. Uh, you still have the option to shim the pivot up and down with shims. So you can raise the roll center back up. You need to add the same amount of shims to the rear part as to the front part. Um, and this will free up the car, uh, remove grip and can be helpful for high grip surfaces. But as an initial setting, I recommend using no shims underneath and using the roll center as low as possible. The next thing which we incorporated into the car is the, the position. So you have the option to, to use it in the, in the rearward position, which means that the pivot ball is in line with the, the side links, completely in line. And this setup gives the most steering from what we found but you also have the option to to move it forward and it's moved forward by two millimeters what you then need to do is you need to add a two millimeter shim between the ball stud and the rear part So as you can see now, the pivot has moved 2mm forward uh, in the forward spot and we've compensated for that by adding 2mm of shims between the ball stud and the rear, rear part. And what does this change for the handling? It seems to lock in the car more uh, to make it more stable, which has been beneficial especially for uh, low to medium grip. And it really makes a big difference in the feeling of the handling. So. Please try this, it's a quick change and it can have, it can have good benefits for uh, certain conditions. So play around with the, with the pivot position. And one last tip which I would like to, to let you know is that this screw here, you can tighten this screw to try and remove play between the pivot ball and the insert. And when it's brand new, normally you don't need to tighten this at all, normally you just you put it in there, but I recommend adding a medium strength Loctite or a tread lock to, to this screw or it can come out. So if you don't plan to tighten it, make sure you use tread lock. When the plastic insert wears, as well as the pivot ball, it can develop a bit of play here. So I then recommend uh, using this screw to fine tune the play and to make sure that you'll have a Still free moving, but uh, pivot with less play.